Why is Bitcoin's price action so predictable and how are we so confident that Bitcoin will continue to follow the model and our power law theory? After all, there are many people who doubt our theory and have various ideas, including Bitcoin growing in an exponential fashion or being completely unpredictable. In this video, we will focus on scale invariance and discuss exactly why Bitcoin is so predictable over the long term compared to most other assets. What makes scientists confident that something is predictable? Two key factors stand out among others, scale invariance and periodicity. Scale invariance means that if something keeps growing in a predictable fashion for one order of magnitude, it will most likely do the same when it reaches the next order of magnitude. It is important to note that the price action itself is not linear. Instead, the linear aspect is the growth of the scale, and it has a predictable exponent that sets the rules of the growth. A log-lock graph can then be used to demonstrate that the growth of the scale is linear. We know that Kleiber's law is an excellent example of predictable growth when it comes to the metabolic rate of animals of various sizes. The exponent of Kleiber's law is 3 fourths, which means that animals need less and less energy per gram of body weight the bigger they get, and this can be calculated across as many orders of magnitude as one wishes. Let us compare Bitcoin to the animal kingdom through the lens of their average growth across similar orders of magnitudes. To make this more intuitive, let's imagine that one kilogram of an animal's mass corresponds to one dollar. On the first day of Bitcoin's existence, Bitcoin had virtually no value. This period does not last for long, because it only takes about 11 hours for it to have the mass of an atom. Next, it takes around 7 days for it to have the weight of a cell. For perspective, the cell is 10 to the minus 9 grams, or a trillionth of a kilogram. On its 27th day of existence, Bitcoin reaches the mass of a mosquito. The first exchanges start to open when it becomes a mouse, and we now have real price data that we can follow. It has now taken 833 days to reach parity with the dollar. The mouse then grows into its bigger cousin, the rat. Did you know that power laws can even be found when observing the growth rate of animal teeth? According to the article, a universal power law for modeling the growth and form of teeth, claws, horns, thorns, beaks, and shells, the vertebrate dentition, with its collection of morphological diversity, is a superb system in which to investigate models of growth. All vertebrate teeth grow from the tip downwards towards the base to form the main body and individual cusps of each tooth. Teeth are often described as being conical, and a power law spiral can be used to illustrate such growth, just like how our Bitcoin spiral chart illustrates the growth of Bitcoin. From dinosaur teeth to elephant tusks, power laws can be found in the teeth of a wide variety of species. However, the teeth of different animal sexes can have different rates of growth. The light blue and red triangles show the different growth rates of male and female elephant teeth respectively, when compared to Bitcoin's power law. They are both scale invariant processes. One of the simplest examples of scaling is a triangle. When you make a triangle bigger, all the proportions of each side will grow proportionally. In Bitcoin's case, the hypotenuse is the power law, the bottom side the log of time, and the short side is the log of price. You can make the triangle bigger and predict either Bitcoin's price or the size of the tusk in 30 years, for example, because it is going to do the same thing over the same period. This is a fundamental property of the system that is ruled by power laws. You can also show it as a power law spiral, as mentioned before, because they are both periodic and scale invariant processes. Now let's jump back to Bitcoin's bizarre evolution for a moment. And ironically, the rat has now started morphing into its cute feline arch nemesis. No more chance of getting eaten. Let's elaborate on scale invariance a bit more. Everything grows proportionally when you have a scale invariant system. For example, architects have to take into account the scaling of both the surface area and volume when designing a building. As you make a building bigger, the volume of the interior area goes up with the cube, but the surface area of the windows will only go up with the square. As a result, this sets upper boundaries for buildings that need to be lit with sunlight. 
In Bitcoin's case, the two main parameters are scale invariance in the form of its overall growth and periodicity in the form of its market cycles. These parameters can be further demonstrated by observing Bitcoin's interconnected array of various power laws, as discussed in our Bitcoin power law theory video. As a result, Bitcoin is incredibly predictable. Back to Bitcoin's journey through the animal kingdom. When looking from a linear point of view, Bitcoin's growth looks like it is slowing down. But it is still extremely impressive for a sheep to morph into a human and then somehow turn into a cow. Also, when looking from the point of view of scaling, it is still growing at the same pace. In other words, every time we grow by a factor of 10 in price, we need an equivalent proportional change of 10 in time. Recently, Bitcoin has even surpassed the largest currently living land animal on Earth, and is closer in size to a sauropod than an elephant. Skeptics say that Bitcoin is inherently unpredictable in a way that scientific predictions cannot be made for it. This could not be further from the truth. From testing scaled down airplane models and wind tunnels and applying necessary scaling calculations for real airplanes to predicting exactly what is needed to send men to the moon, engineers and scientists successfully make these predictions based on periodicity and scale invariance all the time. It is very unusual for economists to think in these terms, but we are trying to make the case that Bitcoin is more like a natural system, unlike other assets like stocks. In fact, we are already able to show how our model has held up over time. Dr. Santostasi's power law model from five years ago has been extended by our collaborator H.C. Berger to include recent price data as shown by the red line. The initial parameters have remained unchanged and we can again create an extended scale invariant triangle to project Bitcoin's future price growth years into the future. This is the path of least resistance for Bitcoin's growth. Now to be clear, any scientific prediction needs to be falsifiable. This is because new data can always come in and the prediction can be proven wrong. However, we have as much confidence in our power law theory as science can predict. It is still an asset and a little bit more uncertain than planets, but it is still a very strong prediction. Finally, back to Bitcoin. What terrifying creature will Bitcoin be in the future? When it reaches $1 million in a decade or so, which we're pretty confident about, it will be a truly gargantuan animal with the weight of 10 blue whales. In two new sciences, 1638, Galileo applies his analysis of the strength of a beam to an animal's weight-bearing bone. For a larger animal, weight scales with the volume, or the cube of the size, while the cross-sectional area of bone only scales by the square of the size. This sets clear upper boundaries for the potential mass of an animal. While the massive ship-devouring kraken may or may not have any bones, the same principles apply to any weight-bearing structures. But don't worry, unlike the limitations of real animals, which are subject to the laws of gravity, there is no clearly understood limitation for Bitcoin. However, you have to be more careful when extending the model to $10 million per Bitcoin, or a Godzilla-like animal with the weight of 100 blue whales. The reason you need to proceed with caution when using scaling arguments of this type at such extreme valuations per coin is because Bitcoin would need to have the value of all the real estate in the world, or even more. However, Bitcoin is nowhere near such prices at this moment, and there is still plenty of room for growth left for this animal. If you wish to support the making of our videos, research, and indicators, you can join one of our very affordable Patreon tiers and gain access to our Power Law Trading View indicators that help you understand where we currently are in Bitcoin's market cycle. In addition, you get to join our active Discord community, teeming with fascinating discussions and online lectures. We're looking forward to meeting you on our Discord server. This is Saverio speaking, and as always, thanks for watching.